Hey everyone. So I have a particular scenario where we need to do a little bit of web scraping. If you're not familiar with what web scraping is, it's the removal of markup information from a web page. So particularly what we're looking for are links. Now, you're probably asking, well, why do we need to do that? We have a collection of files that hold information in regards to postal information as well as latitude and longitude, and this is for the entire world, not just the United States and Canada. This website, GeoNames, graciously provides that information for free. Yes, shout out to them. And what we want to do is we want to download specifically the countries that are of value to us. Not all of them, but just the ones that we want. So how do we do that? Well, let's jump into all tricks. There might be a way to do this using some of the native tools, but I wouldn't recommend it. I prefer to use the Python method. And what we can do is we can go and import in beautiful soup. This is the package that we use to do the web scraping. Yes, interesting name. I have no clue why they call it beautiful soup. So let's go over the code really quickly. We base addy is the address that we were at before uh, with all of the links for the zip files. And then what we do is we specify what type of content it specifically is, which is its HTML content. We have an empty list, which we will fill, and I'll exactly uh, specify what we're putting into it in a minute. And what we need to do is to run through a for loop. So for all the links that beautiful soup finds in the document, put them into the list. The list is a one dimensional array. And that list is then converted into a data frame and we stream that back out into Altrix. The results are right here. Now these don't look very pretty and not really sure how we're gonna organize this, but the best way in my opinion is to utilize Altrix because that's what Altrix is there for, for data wrangling and chopping through this information. So what we need to do is to figure out a way to really do that. And how I did it is I said, give me everything that contains the .zip extension. And once we do that, we can narrow it down to just what we really need, which is the files that have the ability to give us a zip file. Now, if they don't have the two letter file name, we don't want them either. And then eventually we can dump all of this through Altrix's filters and get to what we need, which is right here. We compare them against our distinct nations that we're looking for, and here we go, we have our list. We can then feed that back into Python and download all of those to a folder. Once we download it to a folder, we can open them all up give them a header, put them in a database, convert it to Excel, do a whole bunch of different things. And that's essentially the ability of doing web, uh, web scraping through Python in Altrix. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions or comments down below.